Hey guys and welcome to the new episode of Full Throttle and today we will show you perhaps the coolest small city hatchback you can buy right now. This is a brand new Audi A3. The Audi A3 is the second smallest hatchback from the Audi model line that you can buy. The smallest one is of course the A1 but this is the first real car which can comfortably sit 5 people. This is based on the Golf 8 platform but of course it has different exterior and interior bits and also it has of course more premium packaging. The first thing I like about the new Audi A3 is the looks. Now the previous model looked okay but it was just a rebranded Golf that hadn't much of a personality. Now this car is really much better looking. It looks white, it looks aggressive and you get this massive grill in the front but nobody is really complaining about it because it just fits in the design. The grill gets even bigger and here you get all the radars integrated which have been done very tastefully and you don't see a thing. You also get the brand new headlights which gives the car a new much more modern look and something that's very interesting is that this vent right here is actually inspired from the Audi RS models and it's to give the engine more air. Now I don't think it really works for this four-cylinder diesel engine but it gives the car a more sporty and aggressive look as well as these bumpers down here because this is an S-line model. On the side of the car you can probably notice that the car looks much longer and wider than the previous model and because it is, it's 2 cm wider and 3 cm longer which means it not only looks better but you get more space in the back seats which is something that the previous model definitely needed. Also on the side of the car you get these beautiful body creases which are very interesting and you didn't get that in the previous model and you also get these silver bits here which definitely make the car more interesting to look at. Now the back of this car actually looks super cool and it kind of reminds me of a baby Audi RS6. Now that's definitely something you cannot say for the previous model which just looked boxy and boring. You also get these beautiful LED rear lights and you get exhausts which are big but of course they are not real because let's face it this is an Audi. You also get the model name here which is 35 TDI which makes no sense but it's a 4 cylinder diesel engine. And something that's another first in the Audi A3 is this big spoiler which of course doesn't really serve much of a purpose but it gives the car a more sporty and aggressive look. And now let's check out what's going on under the hood of the Audi A3. Here we have the 35 TDI engine which is a 4 cylinder diesel and it might be one of the most popular. Here you get 150 horsepower and 0 to 60 in 8 seconds which is more than enough for a small hatchback like this. If you want a petrol you'll most likely see the 35 TFSI engine which has the same amount of horsepower but of course it's not a diesel. Now we will be waiting for the S3 and the RS3 models which will be definitely faster and we can't wait to check them out. And now let's get to my favorite part of the car, the interior. Now let's start with the air vents which are taken from a Lamborghini Huracan and they look super sporty and super cool. Also you get of course Audi digital dials, you get this multimedia screen which is amazing with excellent graphics but unlike the more expensive Audi models you actually get climate controls with physical buttons which I think is a big plus over the big digital screen you get in the Audi A8 for example because this one is much easier to operate especially while you're driving. You also get this small gear shifter which it looks kind of funny and you also get in a Porsche 911 but once you get used to it you actually begin to realize how easy it is to operate. You also get these blue bits here which match the car color and I think they definitely give some freshness to the design and something that we haven't seen in Audi models before. Overall super comfortable seats, excellent build quality and there's really nothing to fault in the Audi A3's interior. And now let's check out what's going on in the back seats of the new Audi A3. Now this might be the second smallest model in the Audi model range but you actually get pretty decent space in the back. You get decent headroom and actually decent knee room even though it's not too comfortable right here. You can see two adults in the back and you get this kind of sad looking climate vent right here and there aren't many luxuries in the back but that's to be expected from an Audi A3. 
And now let's talk about something else that makes the Audi A3 such a great car. Now the previous model wasn't exactly the most fun car to drive and wasn't really very good. But with the new model Audi has done a very very good job making the car better at handling, being more responsive and the light steering having more connection with the road. Now this is by no means a BMW M2 but trust me you can have some fun with this car even a front wheel drive version as the one we have here. You can choose between an all wheel drive and a front wheel drive only but on Honestly, if you're living somewhere without snow, there is no need to go for the Quattro. You can choose between a manual and a DCT double clutch automatic gearbox, which is very good at changing gears fast, but it's also getting confused at times, not knowing which gear should be in. You also get the light steering as in all Audi models, but here it's more responsive and you actually know where the car is heading. And of course, there is a little bit of understeer because this is an Audi, but it's less than before and you don't really mind it that much. Overall, it's a very pleasant and a relaxing car to drive and it's superb around town, it's very easy to maneuver, easy to park and you can actually get very decent fuel economy. Here we have the diesel 35 TDI engine which is a 150 horsepower 2 liter turbo diesel engine. Although it won't be very popular in Europe, it still gets amazing fuel economy and it actually works really really quiet. You also have a choice of a 2 liter turbo petrol engine which might be more suitable but the fuel economy won't be as great and of course we will be waiting for the new S3 and RS3 which will have a lot more horsepower and hopefully will be very very fun to drive. The new Audi A3 just might be the best premium hatchback that you can buy right now. The car looks much better than the previous model, it's better to drive and you get the best interior in the class. And yes, it might not be the most fun car you can buy, but for the people looking for a good city premium car, this one will be absolutely perfect.